Hey y'all, welcome back to Love Grows Here Homestead. And I got my seats. So we are gonna go into the greenhouse and we are going to look through them. <gasps> so excited. Like I got flowers and vegetables. So excited. So let's go. Okay, so our first order, seed order <coughs> of 2020. So we got um, ours from In My Gardener, which I love them by the way because 99 cents a pack. This is what happens when it's 99 cents a pack. It says here, total items, 55. Yeah. Well, when they're 99 cents, I just can't help myself. So um, today we're just going to talk about what I ordered. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys each one because I've actually had many people tell me that they want to see what I'm growing and see what I've ordered so we're just gonna start uh, this is one that I'm like super excited about because I have really bad teeth pain sometimes and uh, when I found out about this I was like they have a plant for that like this is a real thing look at this now don't ask me how to say it because I don't know I, I just call it toothache plant and then, ooh, sun golds. Super red romaine lettuce. Ooh, the Dicchio is one of my favorites. I am okra lover. Like, I don't feel like I can have enough okra seeds. And um, I had a little bit, little bit of these seeds um, from my garden sister. She gave them to me last year. Um, and I put them in a spot that didn't get very much sun, so it didn't grow very well. So, uh, yeah, not making that mistake this year. But I went ahead and ordered me some Hill Country Okra. Got, um, I don't know if I said this before, but I did get a lot of flowers. Um, because I want to grow beautiful things just as well as I want to grow delicious things. Uh, so we got mixed colored Benjamin, or bachelor's button, excuse me. Benjamin button. Anyways, okay. Then, one of my favorites and my kid's favorite too um is peas like they love fresh peas out the garden so we got these blue shell and snow peas there's so many to the bag like it just makes me real okay <gasps> okay so we got um a poppy mix now these are going to be started this weekend Oop, because we're running out of time but that's okay aster i think that's how you say it then we got some red california poppy uh, and I did get two of these because they're just so beautiful. Um, I got some edible, edible chrysanthemum. Red Russian kale. Yes, I love kale, you guys. Right now we have growing curly kale. I have dinosaur kale. Um, what else? Oh, blue curled Scottish kale or something like that. I have that as well. Um, white linen poppy look how beautiful that flower is like what italian oregano i got two of these because i like to add oregano into my chicken's water um as well as i like to dry it and keep it as like an herb stocked up <laughs> love oregano and it has awesome medicinal properties like if you don't know you should check it out oh my kids now my oldest maddox he loves to go in the garden um and just pull off the cucumbers from the vine and just like literally munch on them like it's a pickle like it is the funniest thing ever so I got him a couple different ones this year we got white wonder cucumber these are so beautiful and purple is my favorite color just so y'all know Johnny jump viola or yeah Johnny jump up viola uh, me and the love for uh, me and my love for sunflowers is very real. So, uh, you know, every time I see a different variety of sunflower that I don't have, I have to buy it. I have no self control, but it's okay. Great investment in, in my eyes. Black Russian sunflower. Got the Lemon Queen sunflower, which was one of my favorites to grow last year. It was so cute. And like the petals are just like this really bright yellow kind of almost pastel yellow so beautiful and then we got the oregon giant snow pea and all of these peas were definitely just gonna 
um, sow them this weekend. Um, and I'll be starting so many seeds, especially when we get this greenhouse all done. We Now we did the frames the other day. We just have to finish it. And we've been having a lot of rain. So this is like the first day that it hasn't been rainy. It's a little cold, my Floridian self, but it's okay. I'm not complaining. Shall I for spring? So we have a purple sprouting broccoli. Yeah, I, I got some of these because Jess made a video of her unboxing of In My Gardener Seeds and I seen what she was growing and I had to grow some of the stuff that she was growing because she's the one who inspired me to homestead. So, I want to grow what she grows. We got Golden Midget Watermelon. I'm so excited about this. Ooh, yes. Poo. Yeah, I'm not even gonna say that, but look how that cucumber looks. Like, how gnarly is that? My son's really excited about that one. Snowball cauliflower. This is from my daughter. She is obsessed with cauliflower. So if I can grow it, it'd be a lot more cheaper. Um, we got some holy basil. I'm really, really excited about that. I grew like three different types of braz brazel, basil last year, and it was it was one of my favorite things. Um, the Thai basil is so fragrant, so I'm really excited to see um, how the whole, holy basil smells. Okay, we got cinnamon basil. Look at those flowers. Cimarron lettuce. We got dwarf Greek basil. Reaching it again. Grab another stick. Okay, my favorite and um, <sighs> Some sage, some broadleaf sage. It's my best friend's favorite too, so I made sure I got some. She actually just bought a plant start the other day and sent me a video and she was like super excited. She's like, look what I got, and I'm like, yes. She has the garden fever, so do I. Okay, so purple orch. This is supposed to be, uh, it says, if you like spinach, then you'll love purple orch. Purple orch is actually called purple spinach, even though it is not even in the same family. That's cool. It also is container friendly, which, I grow I don't really grow in containers but it's really cool like I like to see that you can grow so many things in containers my dogs are barking at the pigs okay so we have this kind of Swiss chard now I'm growing in my garden right now um, no I want to say it's bright lights or rainbow lights something like that or it might be both brain rainbow bright and bright lights anyways they're the rainbow um, shebang of Swiss chard so that's what we have growing right now but I wanted to I love Swiss chard like it's one of my favorite things that I like now and it's super super easy to grow and I can grow it in my front garden because I don't I don't get very much Sun um, in there and it still thrives pretty good pretty good now borage is one one beautiful looking thing look at that flower I'm super excited about this I don't really know how to say this one but it is a tomato it's a yellow cherry looking tomato Ooh, there he goes now I'm really super excited about this one right here this um, tomato because I tried to grow it um, last year <laughs> and I tried to grow it in my back garden and I didn't trellis my lima beans in time and so they trellis themselves on my Cherokee purple my one Cherokee purple uh, tomato plant and uh, <laughs> yeah so I didn't get any Cherokee purple tomatoes because they got engulfed with uh, lima beans but it's okay live and learn now we know so we got Cherokee purple Lola Rosa leaf lettuce Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm really excited for a lettuce, you guys. Like, it's ridiculous. Behind me, I have um, two bags of soil that I'm going to do just like Jess. I'm going to do a video um, on that. It's Jess inspired. Um, and grow salad greens in a soil bag to help inspire the ones that are around me that want to grow things but don't have a lot of room. You can grow in a bag of soil. Like, what? It's crazy. Okay, so we got another... Swiss chard. We got Ford Hook Giant Swiss chard. Ooh, red acre cabbage. Uh, right now we have green cabbage. We have we have two different types of varieties of green cabbage and a purple cabbage. So this one is green and purple. So that's cool. You know, the schmix in there. We got a uh, salad bowl mix. We got Burgess Buttercup Winter Squash. Oh. I really hope I can grow squash this year guys because last year the vine borers got them uh, and it just I was not successful so 
we're gonna be all about preventing that stuff happening this year because I want some squash and some melons and lots of cucumbers. I just really wanna turn my whole entire uh, land that we live on to a food forest. So that's my goal. Green flesh honeydew melon. Now these are, um, my daddy loves him some, uh, some melons. He loves honeydew melons and he loves cantaloupe. So we gonna have to grow some of those this year. Um, I did grow cantaloupe yesterday, uh, last, yesterday <laughs> last year, and I was able to successfully harvest two pretty decent sized cantaloupes, <laughs> and I was so proud of them. They were so delicious, like the best I've ever had in my life. Okay, so then we also got self-blanching cauliflower <clears throat> and white bush scallop summer squash. Look how beautiful that is. <gasps> last handful. Getting out the bag. Okay. This is so exciting. Like, who else gets really excited to go through seats? If you do, leave a comment down below and let me know I'm not the only one. Okay, because I got so tickled when I seen it in the mailbox. Like, I couldn't contain myself. Okay, we got the dis. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna say this wrong. Uh, de la table melon. Delice de la table melon. Jolly murdering that. But it's okay. Look how beautiful that is though. It kind of looks like a pumpkin. I can't wait. I guess it's kind of like a cantaloupe. Mm, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely like a cantaloupe. My dad's gonna love it. Okay, so ooh, really excited about this because I think growing on trellises is like the coolest thing ever. Uh, so these are definitely gonna go on a trellis. And they're like, they look like big old snakes. Like, it's ridiculous. Kakuzi, probably saying it wrong. Don't judge me. Just, you know, inform me. Yeah, inform me. Leave a comment down below um, and, like, pronounce it out or something. I don't know. Anyways, we got Kakuzi, squash. Look how big they are. Like, that's bananas. Okay, we got Della. <laughs> Della. <laughs> I don't know. It's just some winter squash. Look how beautiful. It kind of looks like a watermelon, like the outside of it. Super gnarly. So um, last year I had bought um, a plant start from Home Depot. No judgment. I love to go to Home Depot. And sometimes I can't help myself. Like I have no self-control when it comes to buying plants, especially when they look beautiful. Like I feel like, okay, you have to come home with me. So anyways, I got this white eggplant and it produced pretty well for the spot that it was in and I really didn't fertilize it very much um, and last year I didn't have rabbits which is like the key to gardening I'm learning uh, rabbit poop so um, I told myself that I wanted to find some type of white eggplant so I could grow it because we loved it last year my my oldest son uh, not my youngest he really eats anything I don't eat him first but um, I, I was I just wanted to find white eggplant and in my garden I had it and I'm so excited Casper eggplant look at how cool white eggplant I just like to grow like really unusual things that you don't get at the supermarket or really anywhere around us like I've I've grown and ate things that I would have never gotten to experience if I wouldn't have started um homesteading in and growing our own food thank you Jessica seriously Okay, so Rosa Bianca eggplant. It's like a really, really cute purple and white eggplant. I love things that are multicolored. So she also made a, a video, like I said earlier, of her unboxing all of her stuff. And I did get a couple of things that she said. Um, she was talking about this bean. And I ain't even going to try to say it because it's definitely not English. Maybe it could be French. Um, but she was talking about, yes, it's a French heirloom tender gourmet variety that is uh, made for an early harvest. I love green beans. My mama loves green beans. And I'm super excited to grow more green beans. Now, uh, these are like really petite, small, slender. Let's see if it'll. Super excited about those. Scarlet kale, which is my favorite. Favorite kale, because it's so beautiful. And it's purple, like purple is my favorite color. Scarlet kale, look how beautiful. <gasps> what everything growing right now 
I need, I need another greenhouse. Well, this greenhouse is going to have more, like, shelving on it. Oh, another video. Um, so we got blue curled scotch kale. I love me some kale. Kale and eggs. Kale with some ham hocks and, uh, just saute kale with some onions like it's so delicious Ooh, kale chips mm, yeah. can you tell i'm a little hungry all right so we got sugar snap peas red bachelor button these are also um edible what like who knew flowers were edible well i mean probably a lot of people but i didn't really until i started learning the ways of the garden um, so that's pretty cool. And then I also got white because I just absolutely love um, love the way the flower looks. Looks like a little puffball. Okay, and I think this is the last one. Drum roll. Okay, so the last one is a golden zucchini squash. You guys, 55 new seeds. So excited. If you guys have not checked out In My Gardener, please do so. Um, it is In My Gardener. Dot com. You can also use Jess's code Jess10 or you can use Share10 to get 10% off of your um, order. Please go order with them. Like they are awesome people. They have great variety, uh, a selection of stuff. And it came to my house in like three days. So, <laughs> the thing. The time to order is now. So, thank you guys so much for, you know looking at these seeds with me getting excited because <gasps> something that i absolutely love um and we also have another um seed order coming in it's not <laughs> as big as this one but i'll be doing another unboxing video of that as well so hope you guys check it out and don't forget to like this video and if you haven't subscribed please do so now so you don't miss any content and ring that notification bell so you can make sure you don't miss nothing all right guys y'all have a blessed one